and Needham residents rely on firefighters to always be there when needed. Now recently, the Needham Fire Department received the SAFER grant, which stands for Staffing for Adequate Fire and Emergency Response. We, went, we met with Fire Chief Dennis Condon to learn more about what this grant means for Needham Fire and the town as a whole. The SAFA grant is a uh, grant that's uh, distributed throughout the country by the federal government and it's designed to allow fire departments to expand the number of personnel that they have in order to meet NFPA 1710 standard, which is a standard for career fire departments to have a certain number of personnel arrive at various incidents within a certain time frame. The grant that Needham received was for an additional eight new firefighter paramedics, and the grant's value is uh, just over $1.6 million over a three-year period. So the federal government in years one and two supply a 75-25% uh, match, and then in year three it's a 35-65% match. So it gives the communities an opportunity to um, get uh, their funding schedules in line, but get the people on board quicker. And uh, for Needham, it's going to give us the opportunity to uh, meet that 1710 level of, of response um, on a regular basis, which is something that we have not been able to do uh, up to this point. And it also will allow us to run two full-time ambulances, one at Station 2 and one here at headquarters, Therefore, we'll be able to service the entire town in a better way, more responsive, quicker. And that will help also sort of offset some of the costs of the additional eight firefighters when the time comes for the town to absorb the full costs. And the process starts right around this time for next year. And um, you f fill out the grant request form, which is pretty extensive. Uh, they go into the number of calls you have, the number of people on your fire department, how much you spend for equipment and so forth. And then it um, goes through a process where it's vetted uh, by other fire service personnel uh, at the fire academy in uh, Maryland. And then uh, from there, they're stacked on the quality of the grant writing and the need. And so for us to be chosen, especially for eight, because not we ask for eight and it's not always you get what you ask for. Sometimes you might get half. And so for us to be chosen, it showed that we did a great job uh, writing the grant. And a lot of that, um, the uh, Director of Administrative Services here, Deb Bonanno, helped with the grant writing with myself. We worked together as a good team, and that was very instrumental in getting the grant, I think. So that helps keep our, our people safer, and it helps the community um, to get people there to do search and rescue if there's in the event of a fire, but also with the... Um, tremendous growth that we're seeing on down by the 128 corridor. Um, it allows us to service that area with a full-time ambulance as well. And, and therefore, the whole uh, town um, really benefits by the grant. And by getting this, um, it's, it's, a, it's a tough thing to get this grant. It's very complex, and uh, only so many are given out nationwide. And we're very lucky to be able to get it.